got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get right to it. I hear a lot of y'all talking sh about a blogger list. I seen the, the, uh, the tweets and the words going out. I spoke to Debo today. I, let, I talked to him about a couple different things. I said, when you coming back outside, people want to hear from you. Everybody want to know why you did what you did in correspondence to the event that just happened this weekend. He will be speaking soon. He going to give his own opinion on the shit that he did. I explained to him. I said, yo. The moves that you made this weekend was very fish market, was very crunchy. I did not, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't jacking that. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. That's you walked in there, you back, 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 back slapped that man, and he basically has his reasoning and things like that. No, they not cool. No, they not going to get it. So that just is what it is. I told him that I respected the way that Caps handled it. He went out, he spoke about it, he let people know how he felt. And I gotta get I gotta, I gotta it up. Cause first of all, Debo went there with the intentions of embarrassing caps, and somehow it flipped to where now you look crazy. I asked him specific questions. I said, yo, when you left, what was you listening to? <laughs> I don't know. I just be wanting to know shit like that. What was you listening to on the way to this ruckus? He said he was listening to 50 Cent. He said he was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I be wanting to know. What song in specific, what song specifically? You know what I'm saying? He was listening to joints like Heat. If you be short, you be shook at me. Cause I get tired of looking for you. Spray your mama crib and let your ass look for me. Time to cock it. No way you can stop it when niggas run up on you with them bangs out. Bangs out. I do what I got to do. I don't care if I get caught. If it's beef cock and dump it, the drama really means nothing. That's not really a good playlist to listen to when you're on your way to do some bullshit. But that's first of all. I did ask, you know what I'm saying, like, how long was he in the event? He said he was only in the event for like a minute or two. He went straight to the target and got the fuck up out of there. He said he didn't run. He said he left the event. He was calling, trying to get it. But he'll explain it. He'll explain everything to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I, like, But at the end of the day... Told him that shit was fish market, it was crunchy, I didn't respect it, but I understood why it happened because where we from and where I'm from and where Caps is from too, he from Harlem. He know niggas do not be waiting to find you to say, hey, we gonna go fight at six o'clock on, th on Thursday. It don't work like that. And not just crunchy, it was very crunchy, you know what I'm saying? You got an event, you got a league, you got a lot of shit going on, you got uh, QB Black Diamond throwing the whole event. Shout out to her, her recap, I did see the event, I'm gonna be talking about that real soon. But, the blogger list. Is there a list of people who are gonna get swung on at events? Is there a hands list? Is there a blogger list of who can't come outside anymore? Uh, I was told no. Uh, you know, certain people do have issues with people in battle rap, but you know, a lot of the people whose issues are there, they know they have an issue with someone. It's not a secret as to where, you know, somebody's gonna see you and, oh, check the list. Oh, he's on it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work like that. I'm gonna tell you how it works because a lot of these battle rap events, and I can speak from a blogger who has been to events. I went, I remember there was a time when people said you wouldn't go to events, whatever the case may be. I don't feel like an event or going to events makes you any better than anyone else. I've said it for years. Even though I went to most of the ones that happened last year and I'm booked, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, it's business. So when I go to these events, I am part of the production. I am part of the pay-per-view. I am part, it's business, it's a contract. I'm gonna be here at this time. I'm gonna be here till this time. I got this many people with me. It's all business. As a blogger, if you go to an event, just copping a ticket to go stand in general admission, go stand in the crowd, by all means. If you can do it if you want, but I don't know if, especially if, now if you're a nice guy, you're just nice to everybody, and you know, you never in and shit like that, that's one thing. But if you got even a little bit of spice to you, you may have an issue with someone, I personally would not recommend it. I would recommend, you know, if you're involved with the production, you go there, that's one thing, because if you go somewhere as part of a business and something happens to you, now it's you and the business's issue. You know what I'm saying? That's legalities. You let me come in here, you set me up, oh nah, now nah, I own this motherfucker. Big difference, you see what I'm saying? Now, with bloggers, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna talk their shit, they're gonna do what they do. As far as this shit that just happened this weekend, that's personal. They have issues that they have had amongst each other for quite some time, whether it be verbally, Caps feels how he feels, Debo feels how he feels, and I told him, I said, I don't got no side in that shit. Once you do something, I'ma talk about it. They do something, I'ma talk about it. Battle rap do something, I'm gonna talk about it. The only person side in battle rap that I have is Showtime SPs. 
nobody else. When he leaves the house with me, it's my responsibility to make sure that him, my cameras, and whoever else leaves with me makes it back. You know what I'm saying? We don't hang out. That's why I, when I go out of town, I don't hang out. I don't be drinking. I don't be on ta untactfully. I do not move untactfully because the main objective is to make it back to your primary residence. Is every drip drop? I come from the trenches. We can't come outside and flip flops. I don't let the bros ride with me with flip flops because you don't ever know what can happen. Like you got your shoes on at all times. You know, in the house, you can have your flip flops. Anything that can come in between that. It should not be done. So me, you know what I'm saying? That's probably from all of the years of training, all the places that I've been. I know how to move, so I don't be worried about that type of shit. But you, to not be worried is one thing, but to always be on point is another thing, you know what I'm saying? If you're always on point and you're moving from a certain way in a certain position, yo, when this is done, we're doing that. When that is done, we're moving here. At this time, we're going there. Anybody that move with me know that's how I move. I've been doing this too long, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think I spent 20 years doing that type of shit to not be able to lead people? So I'm not I'm not worried. But what I will say is it's crazy that it's even come to a point where blogger list and shit like that is even being thought of, you know what I'm saying? Because in the game, it's all good as, your, as long as your opinion goes with someone else or goes with the realm of normality, it'll never be an issue. But once you get any bit of controversy, this type of shit happens, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I said, I did speak to him. Uh, he is in good spirits. He knows, he knows the shit that he did was no bueno. I, I, and I want you guys, you don't take nothing else from this whole blog. Know that I told Debo that that shit that he did was not dope. You know what I'm saying? was no dope to that. I wasn't jacking it. You snuck the man, you know what I'm saying? Now, I did say what, what he got out of it was what he wanted. He wanted the embarrassment. He wanted the memes. He wanted everyone to, to, to do what they do. But the execution was horrible, you know? Man, like, nigga, what made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the... <laughs> I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I, am I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh, God. I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up. I'm saying I understand it was raining out there. I asked him. I said, was it raining when you left? He knew it was raining. He knew how long it was it took to get there. I even asked him questions like, did you think about turning around and going back? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you'd be on the way? You'd be like, oh, this shit not a good decision. Let me just go to the liquor store and go back home. He'll have all his answers to you and for in correspondence to that. If Caps wants his fade, you gotta give it to him. Even now or in the future, you have to give it to him. But he basically was on some shit like, I don't know when I'm gonna see this nigga again. I'm sick of looking for him. I'm just gonna make it happen. But it's his 15 minutes of fame's fault. Y'all posted the video, the nigga was online. He said when he was scrolling the fucking social media, he seen this nigga and it was like seeing a fucking leprechaun on the screen. Like, I don't believe this nigga is not too far away from me. I'm going to get him. That's exactly what it was. What kind of shit is here? Nothing more, nothing less. It was a crime of opportunity. But like I told him, there have been people who have done crimes of opportunity who have landed in jail for the rest of their life. He did not bang, know that Caps was drunk. He's gonna explain bang. that too because you really, you really wouldn't have known because if you want, if you on your way to go get a nigga, you're not trying to figure out whether they drunk, whether they sold, or whatever. They, you just focused on the get. But a lot of the time, like I said, sometimes you go off in an event. You don't know what happens. You go hit the nigga or somebody hit him with a chair or somebody get to fighting and somebody get stabbed and the person lose their life, you could lose your life all on a decision that you have made on a whim. Nipsey Hussle once said we need to learn better how to deal with things when we feel disrespected. Now, will I go make videos when I feel like I'm disrespected? Will I clown people? Yes, that's what I do. I'm artistically gifted to make videos, edit, shit like, like that. that. So shit I can do like that. that. I can chop like whoever that. up like that. into jokes. But never am I gonna leave my house with the intentions of causing physical harm to someone over battle rap. This is just battle rap. It doesn't get that deep for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, for me, it is what it is. You got, you guys gotta be able to learn how to fucking ignore people sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people tell shit, make up stories about me, lie and shit, and do whatever. But I have built up such a good defense mechanism in my mind, which is my family, my friends, and the people who really value me, that I don't let this shit get to me, you know what I'm saying? Niggas are lying on me all the time. Niggas literally jumped on camera and told you that I am the reason why. Listen to what I'm saying. Me, a fucking battle rap blogger, is the reason why Sue Surf is in jail. Somebody told a lie one day. When I've never lived in Jersey, 
I have never seen this nigga face to face outside of a battle rap event and I didn't even have the nigga number. But all because you hate me so much because of the views that I do, you would think that a nigga who doesn't live in Jersey was able to be part of a Jersey Rico. That's how much they hate you in battle rap. So once you learn that that's the amount of hate that niggas will have for you just because you do more views than them and shit like that, you gotta realize that this is just a part of the game. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I wouldn't cause physical harm. I wouldn't go looking for people, and I don't give a shit about no blogger list because I move. First of all, I ain't go. I don't even go nowhere that I don't know anyone. I ain't going nowhere where I don't know anyone, and we ain't got at least the ups. <laughs> we're gonna at least make this bitch shape. I ain't saying that we're gonna win every one, but if we're gonna make it. We're gonna dance. <laughs> if nothing else, we are gonna dance. We're not just gonna go out like that. We're gonna dance wherever we gotta go. It just is what it is. You know, you can't move untactfully. Uh, but like I said, I am happy. I, I did um, talk to Ebo and I let him know how I felt. And I, you know what I'm saying? And I said, you know, Caps is good. He, Caps, I love the way he handled it. He stood in front of it. He admitted it. He got the, he got, he got in front of his word. And he said what he said. Mac Mel sent the live to me. Debo had called me and texted me about this whole blogger list shit. So that's the reason why I'm talking about it and just letting y'all know from perspectives of people that I know, they're saying no, there ain't one, but it's cute for battle rap to make it seem like, oh, let's just name all the bloggers and say they're gonna get hit when we see them and shit like that. Sounds good, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is what it is. And now, like I said, you cannot guarantee nothing will never happen nowhere, but if you move tactfully, more than likely, you ain't really got to worry about no shit like that, man. But salute to every single one of y'all. Uh, like I said, Debo hit me, he called me, I spoke to him, I asked him some questions. He's gonna speak on his own and shit. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's got his own channels that he can speak on, and y'all gonna grind him the fuck up when y'all speak to him there. I told him it was a cornball Jamal move that he did, but he went with the fact that, yo, I get tired of looking for you, spray your mama crib, and let your ass look for me. What could I say? But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all, man. It's your man, if I fly, tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and all my network partners. Gra, 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 gra. Four to the fifth, bitch. You already know what it is. Gang shit or don't bang.